to reset the machine, press set and reset, then turn on the machine. The settings goes to in Korean language. So now you can change into English. To change into English, press set for two seconds. The display starts blinking. Then again press down arrow. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Now you can see a, a page for the languages. Now it is in Korean language. Now we will change into English language. For that press the side arrow. Now English is highlighted and all the information has been changed to English language. Then again press set. Yes, now you can see all the information has been changed to English language. Button, button type, wrapping frequency, knotting frequency, button height, cutting and the data working, everything has been changed into English. Okay. Now uh, here you can see first it puts two knots then number of wrappings what we have program then again uh, it puts uh, two knots in the last to lock the wrapping if you want to change into initially a single knot then number of wrappings then again last if you want three knots that is also possible for that we will show how to uh, do the things after initialization uh, press the set key press the down arrow now you can see the uh, different types of uh, uh, wrapping is highlighted so when you press the side arrow you can see now in the first it is putting one knot the number of wrappings then in the end it is putting three knots so one more option is there now it is completely knots now the machine will do only knotting now it is only wrapping so the uh, there are four options first it puts two knots the number of wrappings then in the last it puts two knots then one more uh, starting one knot the number of wrappings and in the last three knots here completely knotting here completely wrapping we recommend uh, starting one knot then number of wrappings then in the last three knots to once the record pattern is selected press set key now it is locked now we will show you how to change the uh, wrapping frequencies uh, button uh, knotting frequency button height all the things for that press set now you can see the flat button is selected flat buttons if you want to do shank buttons now it is shank button if it is a flat button generally we do with flat buttons then press the down arrow again press the down arrow you can see now wrapping frequency is selected so if you are now initially it is 15 if you want to change the wrapping frequency to 20 or 30 just enter 20 now it's 25 again press 0 so now it is 20 up to uh, we can do from one wrapping to 130 wrappings uh, default okay now we have changed the wrapping frequency to 20 then again press the down arrow now knotting frequency is highlighted now uh, it is three knots if you want to increase the knots or if you want to decrease the knot, it is possible. Just enter the value how much you want to want. Uh, 3 is okay. Uh, and this is the button height. Button height means the looseness how much you provide for the buttons. For shirts, we recommend minimum 3 mm. And for the trousers and the jackets, uh, it, may be, uh, it must be 4 to 5 mm more. So depending upon the looseness how much you provide, you have to uh, adjust the button height. As well as when you adjust the button height, you have to increase the wrapping frequency also if you increase the button height to 4 or 5 then you have to increase the wrapping frequency by uh, 30 40 like that then again once everything is completed just press set key 
Now the thing is settled. Now we will show how to change the speed uh, all the things settings. For that reset and 9. Press reset and 9. The display has been changed to the uh, RPM, motor RPM. You can see 3 RPMs 2995 and 12. This 2900 means the RPM of the wrapping motor. It's generally to, uh, initially it is 2900 RPM. Then this 95 means knotting uh, motor RPM. This 95, uh, the knotting of the last three knots. This 12 means uh, knotting RPM of the first knot. First it puts single knot, then wrapping, then last three knots. So this 12 is the uh, knotting speed of the first knot. If you want to change the things, uh, 8 or uh, 9, how, whatever you want to change, uh, change it. 12 is standard. Then again, press set. There are three motors in this wrapping, knotting, and front and back, forward and backward motors. We can test the three motors individually. Now we will show the demonstration for the wrapping motor test. Reset and one. You can see the wrapping motor is blinking. LED over here is blinking. Now the wrapping motor is under test. Okay. Reset this one. Okay. Onto the reset this one. Uh, to test the knotting motor, reset and three. You can see knotting motor LED is blinking. The knotting motor, uh, the knotting take up lever is going up and down, and you can see the knotting arm also operating. To test the uh, knotting tension, when the uh, take up lever is full down, means when the knotting arm is in the closing, uh, closed position, when you pull the thread from the Knotting uh, tension, it should be tight. It should be tight. When you release the take up lever, it should be free. Okay. This is the proper way of testing the knotting tension. Now we will show how to set, uh, set the forward and backward motors. Press reset and down arrow. You can see the forward and backward motor is coming front and uh, and you can see the uh, wrapping motor is coming front and back. For to thread the device Again press the up arrow, the thread will be passing, comes from the next stage. Now, uh, now the thread is tight. To make, to release the thread, press zero. Tension post release. Uh, wrapping tension post is released, now the thread is coming free. Then again press trim. Trim, trim this one. Again press one. Yeah, the thread is trimmed. To make the working data zero means this is the number of buttons which, which we do. So if you want uh, to make the number of working data to zero, just press C. It becomes zero.